What's going on guys? It's Pond. Uh, I'm going to be doing a series on how to make a BO2 contractors map for Kadzi. Um, it's going to be difficult for you, you guys, but uh, we're going to try to get through this. So let me make sure we're recording. All right. So first, we need to install the contractors mod kit if you're new. Some of you guys already know how to do this, so you guys can skip over to the next video. But to do this, you want to open your browser and head to mod.io. Once you get here, click your browse games, and then you want to find contractors. This shows all of the contractors maps. This is my new town. I also have town on here somewhere. But, um... Head up to guides, and then you want to head to the how to install contractors mod. Then you want to follow this. It'll tell you to register Epic Games and GitHub. Make sure you connect it, and then it'll send you to the downloads, where you have to download each and every one of these into a folder. You can either follow me or you can follow this. I mean, it's up to you. I know some people are visual learners. But once you download all of them and put them in a folder, this is what it will look like. You have your folder with all of them in it. You won't have this yet. But once you have all of them, you want to unzip. When you unzip, you will get this. And you don't need any type of Unreal for this. It'll be its own engine. So you can just open this head to the project. I have two because I have uh, two projects with multiple mods on them. So you'll have mod project and mod engine. Or you might just have mod engine, I'm not sure. It's been a while. But to open it for the first time, I would recommend looking at this step. Because you need to uh, these certain steps. If it's your first time, then you have to open it a certain way. But after that, it's pretty easy. So I would just look at these couple steps for the uh, last parts, you know what I mean? But anyway, once you finish that and you open it, uh, I open my project. takes a little bit to open all right I'll be right back once it opens and we're back so mine is currently still opening it does take a while the first time so just let it load this is the what it looks like when it's loading up it does take a little bit the first time mine is taking a little bit for some reason could be my crappy PC but it does take a little bit I guess I'll just be right back when this loads.
and we're back so my editor finally loaded um yours will be a lot more empty i do have plenty of stuff in here and we are back um this is the editor i have a lot of things in here that shouldn't be in here right now but um yours will be a lot more empty um so this is a drag and drop um this is a drag and drop and we're back um my editor finally opened this is a drag and drop editor so whatever is in your content browser will drag and drop i would mess around get familiar with everything before we head into the next video test 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 and we are back we are inside of the unreal engine editor mine has a lot of things yours won't because yours is new but this is a drag and drop editor so all you have to do is drag and drop from the content browser but um so we're gonna leave this video off by creating a mod you want to head up here and press create a mod we're gonna make a new map so for this series i'm gonna be working on die rise so I'm going to call this die rise and create the mod. This will take a couple minutes. But as you can see, the map's down here. The mod data is here. And then the mod info is right here. But that is the end of this tutorial. This is uh, getting started with Unreal Engine contractors, I guess. <laughs> but in the next video, we're going to be working on importing die rise or any BO2 map into the editor. So, thanks for watching guys.